Okay, I'm in the cupping lab this afternoon, and this is the first in a series of videos introducing our new Peruvian coffees, launching on March 15th. So to begin, Peru is a very important coffee origin for us. This is partly because there are a very large number of small-scale producers who grow coffee using organic practices there, but it's also because the flavor profile is extremely popular. You don't get the same fruity or floral complexities of more adventurous origins, but what you do get is a lot of straightforward but undeniably tasty chocolate, caramel, and it's uh, a very popular, broadly appealing type of coffee. Okay, so we pop up on a map. You can see here's Peru. Coffee is grown throughout Peru. It's grown down here in Puno. It's grown here in Cusco. Uh, we buy coffee from the Northern Highlands, in one small area in particular, north of Jaén, in between Jaén and San Ignacio. Many thousands of producers live and work in the mountains alongside this valley. They're small farmers, they, they grow the coffee themselves, they harvest it, they pulp it, they dry it, and then most of them are disorganized. They're private farmers and they bring their coffee to sell in Jaén. Jaén is the coffee hub of northern Peru. And on the main street there, there are many, many small private coffee warehouses set up to purchase coffee at what's called the street price, which is the going rate for generic coffee at a given time, which works kind of like how the price of gas is posted at many different gas stations that change depending on factors like exchange rates and futures prices. We buy most of our Peruvian coffee from two producer associations, so producers that are organized and are selling coffees for price premiums, for certifications, and for higher quality directly into the international market. So in the next two videos, I'll highlight these two producer associations, and then finally, I'm gonna show you how I brew these coffees and what the difference in taste is.